Hey, what's up everyone, it's Bigfoot, and today I am doing another gear review. This time it's on my Z-Pax 40 degree solo down sleeping bag. I had this on my Appalachian Trail through hike this last year, and I couldn't have been happier. Now I did say 40 degree, that is right. I didn't start until April 23rd, and I summited Katahdin on the 31st of July, and I had absolutely no problems with this thing on the trail. There are so many things I love about this, and honestly, I have no beef. But before I get into all of that, let's talk a little bit about the bag. So the material that this is made out of is a 900 fill premium goose down. I honestly don't know that there's another sleeping bag in the market that has the same warmth to weight ratio. It's just phenomenal. Now, you can customize this four different ways. You can customize it by girth, by length, by color, and then by temperature. So starting off, you want to choose what temperature range you're going to pick. They have 40 degree, 30, 20, and 10. Now the most common one that through hikers are going to have if they're starting in March is going to be the 20 degree bag. Now once you have that picked out, you're going to pick your girth. There are three different girths that you can go with. You have your slim girth, your standard, and your broad. After that, you're going to pick a length. There are five different lengths and four if you are with the slim girth, but there is short, medium, long, extra long, and extra, extra long. And then the last is just choosing the color. You can choose between green and blue. Now, based on those different options, you can get this thing down as light as 10 and a half ounces. Now that would be with a slim girth, short sleeping bag, 40 degree, 10 and a half ounces, and it can go all the way up to 28 and a half ounces. And of course, that would be with a 10 degree. That would be the widest, which is the broad and the extra extra long version. For me, this came in at 13.8 ounces. Now, as you see in that video on the side, it also included the dry sack. Without the dry sack, I think it was somewhere around 12.8 to 12.9 ounces. I went with the 40 degree standard size girth and the long length. The long length fits me nicely. It comes out five foot, 10 inches. I'm five foot eight. The standard length is probably the one thing I would change. I wish I would have had a little bit more playroom inside of my bag when I did have my bag all the way zipped up. So I would have gone with the broad and the next sleeping bag that I do buy will be the broad version. So that's a little bit about the different ways that you can customize the sleeping bag. Having said that then, let's go ahead and take a peek underneath the hood here. Again, it comes in with this dry bag. I had no problems with my sleeping bag uh, staying dry on the trail. So this thing comp compresses in here really, really well. If I wanted to, I actually could have compressed this down even further. So the bag is perfect. As I said, made with the 900 fill premium goose down. And the temperature, the coldest temperature that I saw on the trail, I believe was about 35 degrees. I wore my thermal base layer on my top and my zip off pants on my bottom. I had no problem with staying warm. Uh, most nights I was basically just in my boxer briefs and I never had a problem with staying warm. The coldest temperature I ever saw in this sleeping bag ever was 29 degrees back in Missouri when I was doing some pre-hikes and I had my thermal base layers on and again, I had no problem. I do sleep warm though, so I wouldn't recommend getting a 40 degree if you're going to be seeing temperatures that are considerably below that degree, but, uh, but for me, it worked out really, really well. Now, again, I said most through hikers in March are gonna have a 20 degree bag. Their sleeping bags are checking in just under 20 ounces, so 19.8, but just amazing, the warmth to, to weight ratio. Now, the inside material, and the outside, so inner and outer shell is made of a ripstock nylon. And there is actually a Cuban that is in the baffles here, which is one of the reasons why Joe is able to get this thing to be so light. Now I mentioned earlier that the sleeping bag has features of both a sleeping bag and a quilt. And what I meant by that was the sleeping bag actually has a three quarter length zip. So it will zip all the way down Till about you got about two foot left or maybe just under so you, enough to put your uh, cover your feet and up to basically your calves and use this like a quilt style now 
the underside of any sleeping bag, the material that they use, it doesn't do anything when you're lying down, whether you're lying on a pad or whatever. It doesn't keep you warm. It's basically just kind of useless. So because of that, they actually put the zipper on the very bottom of the sleeping bag. Uh, this is great because they didn't need to add any extra material uh, to insulate this cold draft area. And uh, again, because it's on the bottom, it doesn't matter. So some, most sleeping bags you'll see that on the side or on the top, and then they have to add some extra material to insulate that. So not here, it's great. And most of the time, I actually slept with it quilt style. So I was on my Neo Air X Lite, and I just had my legs inside the very bottom, and then just basically wore this over like a quilt. Um, again, my temperature that I saw most of the time was somewhere in the 50s to 60s. But there was probably a couple dozen times I did sleep with it fully zipped up. And, uh, and it was great. I mean, again, I, I stayed really, really warm. I just wish I would have went with the broad girth to have a little bit more room inside. Now, uh, there is a clip at the very top here. So when you zip it all the way up, you clip this guy. You're not going to have any issues with this going down. It'll stay together, which is great. So you got cord at the very top here that you will tighten to basically give you yourself a nice fit. This should be covering your shoulders. So when you look at the length, look at the length that comes up above your shoulders. You don't need it to cover your whole entire head. But anyway, uh, this will fit nice and snug around your neck. And then you, if it was cold enough, you'd wear like a goose down hoodie. I wore my micro fleece beanie. I had no problem. So uh, anyway, that is really the features of this bag. Uh, again, I just have never experienced a bag that's been so warm and so light. It was phenomenal. There was nothing that I really complained about this. Uh, the only thing that people complained about this on the trail was, if you can see right here, got a little bit of a goose. And honestly, in every single down jacket, sleeping bag, whatever I owned, I always had a little bit of uh, down poke out here and there. You never want to pull this out because you'll have even more problems and pull a lot of that insulation out. Just leave it. But anyway, highly, highly recommend this sleeping bag. I am actually going to probably get a 20 degree bag. If you have the money, totally worth the investment. You can cut off some serious weight on this thing compared to what most sleeping bags go for. And a lot of the sleeping bags that are premium out there uh, are not that far of a difference in terms of cost compared to this. So if you do have the money, honestly, you're not gonna be able to find a better bag out there in the market. So that wraps everything up, guys. Highly recommend the sleeping bag. I'm gonna put the details where you can find this at zpacks.com, so you can just click on the link and it'll go right there. That's all for me today. Stay tuned for my next signing, guys, and remember to always follow Bigfoot. Oh,